Hi, this is Jen from Ugly Art Room, and we are here today to open up our artwork that was sent to us for our Cruise January Mail Art Challenge. And if you want to read about that, you can go on uglyartroom.com. We got a few pieces from some artists who we've seen their work before, and we have some newer pieces, so we're really excited to open it today. And I guess I'll just get into it. I actually was lucky enough to receive this beautiful letter opener. My husband made it for me, John. Thank you, John, so much. And he inscribed three little mountains because he knows how much I love mountains on it. And today we won't be struggling as much or potentially damaging any artwork. So let us begin. The first piece is from Josiah. And Josiah was an artist who sent his work for last month's challenge. Here is the back of Josiah's piece. Here is the front of his piece. We have a brain, which is actually the top of some poppy flowers, which are actually my favorite flowers. And those are California poppies. I recognize those because I want them so bad and I'm gonna to try to grow them this year. With the cruise theme, we talked about how in certain months of the year, maybe not in California, but in wintertime, especially in Oregon, when it's gray and dark and raining all the time. And in New York, which just had the worst blizzard basically ever, you just want to get away. You just want to get out. You just want to escape. And we're held back sometimes. But maybe if we can actually imagine ourselves this way, then we can get out of the doldrum. All right. So let's move on. We have another piece from Andre Pace. He sent us a piece last month. Again, we have a triptych. So there's the first one. It says cruise ship art and the piece itself, the piece within the piece, the art in the art is pretty abstract. On to Andre's next piece. And it's a woman who's on a cruise, maybe leaving New York. And let's look at his third piece. And it's a New York Harbor piece. And I like the way they build off of one another. And we start with more of a sketch and then we go on to something more complete. And both pieces don't have any color. And then it all comes alive with color. We're gonna open a piece now from an artist whose name is Rob Jelinski. My letter opener just worked so perfectly. This is called Waters, and it's part of a set of four, and it's watercolor on an original photo, which creates a really, really interesting effect. You have sort of the realistic, flat, shiny, glossiness of the photo, and then these watercolor strokes give it texture, but it also sits on the photograph and then it creates a watery effect. Let's show you another one. This looks like perhaps the either the back or the other side of the ship. We turn even more and we just see a slight bit of the edge of the ship and then we see more of the ocean. When you look at the sky or you really look at the colors of the ocean and there's so many different colors within what you would just normally look at and think oh that's blue. So he did a really great job of capturing that. And the fourth in this set is a full view of the ocean without any part of the ship. I love them individually and I I love them as a set. We're gonna look at the next piece that was sent. This is sent as a postcard and it's from Rodney Hip again. He's also included the hook that you can hang the piece from. And it's made of spray paint, aluminum can, paper, stamps, and ink. 
the surface is aluminum. I think it's some kind of can because it says gulp on the back. So thanks so much for sending this Rodney. It's always exciting to get pieces from you. We're gonna move on now to our last piece. And it's a big piece, bigger than my head. It looks like you're on a cruise ship and you're looking out, but there's really not a lot of depth between the ocean and this wall, but she's created really good perspective here with the tables. And then we get this nice 3D effect here. But what's really cool about it is that the clouds actually are closer to you than the actual cruise ship and these frames of the windows. And we even have some little seagulls or some other seabirds in the background. A lot of the pieces today are pieces that you can hang on your wall and just keep looking at and they make you think about all different kinds of things. When you're looking at the ocean in real life and in a depiction of it in art or when you're looking at the sky, you sort of get brought to another place and I think that all the pieces today really brought us to another place. Thanks to all the artists who sent work today and be on the lookout for next month's theme. Take care.